Hello and welcome back to United We Stand, Divided We Podcast, Episode 1, Season 2. And I'm with my co-host, Lionel, from the great Toronto. country of Canada. That's right. And That's of course, right. you are in the great country of the United States of America. Yeah, you see, we don't rag on each other about that unless it's to do with sports. <laughs> because yeah. we're all friends we all have family and friends and co-workers across the border and we like to talk about all the things that we have that are different and all the things that we have that are the same and places that we like to visit sports and technology yep. and robert for anybody who doesn't know uh he went on uh, he went on a little trip and he was gone for the week and so we're gonna bring up a few things that happened while you were gone and and then robert's gonna tell us all about Stuff that he did while he was not everything. I mean, technology wise, the stuff to do with what we want to talk about yeah. on the podcast, because uh, his personal business has nothing to do with this. But uh, that said, let me just bring up the first thing because why not? Let's let's get the elephant in the room so we can get the elephant out of the room. Ray gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, good old Ray Gun. I feel I actually feel really bad for her. Uh, she really, I don't. <laughs> regardless of how bad it was, she really put a lot of effort into it, and she was really serious about it. And all the backlash she took on social media and stuff was really unfair, and it actually really um, caused people should not over. bully people uh, no, yeah. even on the internet whatever i agree with that but i'm yeah. gonna say flat out uh if you're talking about somebody it doesn't necessarily mean you're bullying somebody when you start directing it directly True. at them you're yeah. going too far if you start trying to convince other people that they should be bullies you're going too far but there's no way anybody's gonna be able to tell me i should i shouldn't be able to sit here and say i disagree with you i think she sucks as for oh, giving no, 100%, it her all, you're not disagreeing. I, I, I agree. hundred percent think that she knew damn well she had zero chance, and she took an opportunity away from somebody else. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but you know what? This could be our point counterpoint section. Something we do new for season two. Point counterpoint. You know, we should do that from now on. Actually, I, I actually think that'd be a good idea. Uh, but for, unfortunately, for you, I'm not sure you disagree on this one as much. <laughs> Well, for those of you wondering why we're uh, season two, episode one kind of thing is because we both kind of like I went on vacation, came back. It's been a week. He's got his um, area looking really good. If you've noticed, uh, he's got his, you know, TV in the background. So we just figured it was time to like start my, and turn a my new personal leaf. photos that I've That's taken. Right. Just That's a couple right. of them. I may switch those out every week from now on. I it could happen or maybe every few weeks, whatever. I like to show but, off my my work, but we. Yeah, she she was absolutely one hundred percent terrible. There's no disagreement on that. Yeah, no I I do disagree that she took something away from somebody else because my understanding is the Australian Olympic Committee is the one that chose her to go. Uh, they did not. Uh, it was not the Australian Olympic Committee. Well, uh, whoever, I remember the name. I don't have to look it up. Governs that that body in Australia. Well, she doesn't yes. just randomly go. And know. there's a lot of false rumors going around, mainly based originally on people who didn't know what they're talking about and were just trying to stir up trouble, uh, saying things like her husband was in charge and one of the judges, and that she started up the organization herself, and blah blah blah. All of that has been proven false because they were actually people that were there that are breakers that that know that's not the, the case however if you talk to a bunch of people from australia who are involved in breaking they'll also tell you that there is something untoward that went on there and that she should not have won because there were people who weren't even being able to go to the competition that she won in order to yeah. get to the olympics that was the issue she clearly did win, but she also did about three times better at that. At the, I saw I saw the footage. And incidentally, by the way, you can't put footage of her on YouTube anymore. Apparently, uh, it's a takedown notice for everybody that's using it from the IOC. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, didn't know that. But I don't yeah. post 
you know, photos of, or pictures. Yeah, or no, no, photos are fine. It's, vi it's video. You no, I don't, I don't, I don't post any yeah, of that. So there's regular. really funny AI videos of her now because they, they can use uh, the photos because fair use. Um, right. But in all honesty, I don't think the takedowns should have happened anyways because, again, it's fair use. This is the Olympics. It's already happened. It's already been broadcast. They don't do rebroadcasts of the Olympics live. You only get to see clips. If you're uh, um, working uh, as a creator on YouTube and you're reacting to things, um, believe it or not, it does fall under the category of journalistic, you know, as long as you're, you know, can be tasteful about it, at least to some degree, it, it, you could be considered a journalist if you analyze what's happening. And the one person that the first person I heard about being taken down was doing just that. They weren't doing that, like making fun of her and laughing at her. They were explaining why she shouldn't, like why was, did she didn't get any points and why she shouldn't have been at the Olympics and stuff like that. Uh, and that's journalistic. Uh, that's like doing an expose on, on, on CBS in 1972. Guy goes in and he starts asking questions. Are you kidding me? I apologize for this. I, 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 uh, I'm going to screen this call. Why is she calling me now? Everybody knows on Wednesday I do podcasts. <laughs> so do, do I need I like to like start our podcast now and say, will everyone please silence their phones? <laughs> like we were in church or something. <laughs> yeah. But I, I don't. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think the reason why the takedowns are happening, I think, is because people are using it in a very malicious manner. Not everybody, but some people are. And so she, I think, is having um, some issues with it. And But I also heard, and if you're going to do this, you can't actually say don't use it if you're going to monetize yourself and make a million dollars doing it. Right. So I did hear that she's like starting with some ad agency or something and they want to monetize her 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 you know fame, which is fine. Go for it. It's just like oh, that stupid I, hot to a girl. I mean, yeah. she's a, making bank right now. It's like great. If you can make bank off a of hot to a I'll I'd hot to and make some bank, you know. Yeah, I <laughs> I I a hundred percent agree. You 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 it doesn't matter what you do. If you're not doing something illegal or something yeah, immoral. Uh, and somebody wants to give you money for it, that's, that's fine. I mean, like if you're a mass murderer and you're in prison, somebody says, I want to give you a book deal, you're a piece of crap. You're probably going to take it. But uh, anybody who buys it is a piece of garbage. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, things like that. Yes. Yeah. But if you're just really bad at breaking and somebody wants to give you some kind of a, 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 a you know, deal to do appearances, you know, or do a book or or, yeah. or, or whatever, go for it. Absolutely. Like, look, if there's Why anybody not? out there, anybody. If there's anybody out there who wants to give two old guys that are trying to make a podcast go a bunch of money. We are not above doing, you know, we'll we'll cluck I, like chickens or whatever. I, I don't know. Well, I don't. I don't think I would cluck uh, like a chicken. Like, you know, no, if you no, want, go, give go me some it. money, make money. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. You know, do absolutely. You I did. Oh, oops! I just smacked my table. Uh, uh huh. Uh, That's interesting. I, I I don't I don't I don't I don't really care. Uh, I'm not getting up <laughs> in the middle of a podcast. Um, that's interesting though. However, I will say this: I may end up having to get up for a couple of seconds. But if that's the case, uh, Robert is going to talk to you about some stuff uh, that he did. And and you know what? Why don't we actually, you know what? I'll tell you what. Why don't we get to that? And then we can sort of talk about all the, some of the other things that went on last uh, last week while you were gone. Well, this week, kind of both, actually. A little last week, a little this week that have gone on. And some of the things also that we're both catching up on has just come up now. I, I won't mention any any names uh, or the letters COD. But uh, <laughs> uh, so tell us, uh, you uh, you went there and you took more than one tracker with you uh and 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 you're basically gonna be talking on your own because I, i'm gonna go deal with something while you're telling everybody i know it sounds weird but hey it's a podcast okay. you never know what's gonna happen man it's live <laughs> 
All right. Well, solo podcast. Here we go. So, yes, he is correct. I took a trip to Barbados with my wife. Uh, We were gone for nine days. And I also have a tech channel, which I'll link it uh, in the description here on this podcast. But I wanted to test the new Pebblebee clip and the new Galaxy Smart Tag 2 to see how well they compare to each other. Now, bear in mind, the Galaxy Smart Tag 2 is an ultra-wideband capable device, whereas the Pebblebee Clip is not. And so I kind of want to see how it compares. Obviously, the Samsung device can only be used on Samsungs. The Pebblebee Clip can be used on Android. It doesn't have to be a Samsung. It can be any Android phone. And I can tell you that, yeah, results were really bad for Pebblebee. Pretty much the Samsung device blew the Pebblebee out of the water. The ultra wideband tracking capability was, I'm not going to say pinpoint accurate, but it was very accurate. If I truly had lost something that that was a part of, I could have easily found it in pretty much any location I was at, whether it be the Nashville airport, whether it was Barbados airport, it didn't matter. The Pebblebee gave me um, a range of like this. And at one point when we landed in Barbados, (laughs) this is hilarious. My luggage showed to be like two or 300 miles out, (laughs) still in the ocean, (laughs) but we were on the ground at the airport in Barbados. Keep in mind, too, I took my original Samsung tracker, the original one, and it was reporting correctly. So it outperformed the Pebblebee. And the Pebblebee is a brand new device on Google's um, Find My Device network. Google has a long way to go to get that network up and running. Now, there's a new device that Motorola has that's the Moto Tag. And I actually was able to buy one yesterday and has shipped. So I will be able to take that that. with me. Yeah, I will be able to take that with me to Europe when we leave in two or three weeks with my son. I'm not at all jealous about that trip. And we'll see how well the ultra wideband on the Moto device works on Google's network. Because that's ultra wideband capable, just like the Galaxy Smart Tag 2, unlike the Pebblebee. I'll tell you this. I can't recommend a Pebblebee. And if I had bought the Pebblebee and that's the only thing I had, I would be returning it. And the only reason why I'm keeping it is so I can continue to test their network as I hope they continue to fix it because it's garbage, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Uh, there, there's, there's, I, you're not the only one. Um, there are a lot of reviews I've read and seen some on, on, on YouTube. They, they're, Oh my God. Um, some of them had worse experiences than you with Pebbleby. Uh, the How much one, worse do you get than your luggage being 300 miles out in the ocean and you're parked on that? Track? It hasn't left yet. And you're already in Japan. <laughs> uh, okay. Get, but that's, yeah, you that's get worse. back home a week later and it's, and it's over Germany on its way <laughs> it's, to Japan. I, it, I mean, I I've seen some strange things on, on uh, out there. It's what's the other one called again? Uh, uh, Chipolo. Chipotle, Chipotle, Chipotle. I, I, I'm sorry because I, I missed. Uh, did you say you took that one too? No, I don't have a Chipolo. Oh, I'm not buying a, a Chipolo. No, because it's basically I've, the same I've thing as a Pebble it, Bee. I apparently not. Uh, according to some of them, it's again, it's not going to touch the Samsung, not yet. But apparently, it is actually better. It it uh, it does ping sooner. It pings more often, and it pings more accurately. Probably uh, because the Chipolo network they have because they've had their own network for a long time is probably far more vast than the Pebble. Yeah, network. but it's not probably using its Google. network. It's using it's using the Google network. Yes, but it's but, using the Google network with other Chipola devices on it, which are far more plentiful than the Pebble Beam. Well, no, it's not because the other Chipola have to be on Google's network, not on the Chipola network. Um, unfortunately, yeah. they're not compatible with each other. The thing is, is that is is one reason why it's working better is, is probably a number of reasons. One is, is maybe there's more of them already. I doubt that that's it. I don't know. <laughs> but it's probably just that they're a little stronger. And maybe also they built them different. Sorry, excuse me. They did build them differently so that 
they actually do um, attempt to ping more often. Uh, the problem with the uh, Pebblebee is that it it doesn't even bother trying. And the apparently the only way to get it to work is to mark it as lost. And even then, by the time it tells you, it's already a few hundred miles further on by the time it gets back to you. So yeah, I don't know. It just it was it was bad. Did you did you just, try the mark as lost? Thing? No, no. Uh, apparently that's what you mark it as lost, and it but shows you up. shouldn't have to do that. No, of course not. And also, again, so, if you do that and it shows you where it was two hours before you marked it as lost, it's still not <laughs> accurate. It's, right. Right. Also, if it shows if it shows that it's uh, somewhere in the vicinity of the airport, way over there. But you know damn well it's in the luggage with the other ones right here that are pinging right here. Yeah. It's also not correct. And Pebbleby yeah. has a tendency to do that more so than the Ch Chipolo. I, I, I'm just going to call it Chipotle. I'm sorry. It's Chipotle. Chipotle. But Chipotle. The original tracker and the Pebbleby were literally on the same key ring. So they were like next yeah. to each other. Right. And the original Samsung was tracking way better than the Pebbleby. Well, of course. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. The the it's, the, it's, the it's smart tag two with the ultra wide band, flawless, perfect. I, I yeah, was just uh, absolutely. Happy now, if you have a Samsung, you really can't go any other way. Uh, yeah. Although, I, I one thing I don't understand is why do you have to have a Samsung to use the Samsung trackers? I think that's a mistake on Samsung's part. They should have just opened it up and then and and, and had and then said to Google, you know, like here, you know, make your make your technology based on this. You know, it's like, yeah, but I'm sure together. Has I mean, they're, they're in with... bed with each other for everything else. Why not that? Uh, yeah, who because knows? it but works. I, I, like I showed you in the mapping, though, even the map, Samsung using Google Maps looks better than Google using Google Maps. <laughs> and that, well, that, that, that just proves my point. Google, <laughs> that, Samsung just said, just use ours here. Here, it's right yeah, here. Use no. ours and we can sell more. And, 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 and then and then what they could do is they could license Pebbleby and, and Chipolo to use Samsung's network. Yeah, they I, I have a killing, you know, like it's, a buck and a half of a, a, a tracker. People would have bought billions of them. Uh, yeah, it's the again, you know, I don't know the whole Google, you know, think tank, but I think they completely missed the mark here. Well, yeah. they didn't miss the mark on everything. They nailed it out of the park on this one, smashed it out of the park. You know what? Hang on. What am I doing? What am I doing? Let's take this bad boy out of the case. Drop. Oh, no. Uh, there we go. See, let me, oops, I got to get, get it in the light so I'm not blocking the light. Look at that beauty. I love this thing. And this screen is so, oh, wait a minute. You know what? Can you see this? Let's, let's see if I get this on camera. Bang. Just. Why does that have to happen? I did I miss it? <laughs> seriously, it's like seriously. Normally, all right. Th there we go. Okay, watch. Tap. Right. Literally, there's no press and hold. Just tap. Ultrasonic. So everyone that was saying, "Oh, we should have an ultrasonic," and and everyone else and all these other people going, "No, it just, our mind works fine. There's nothing wrong with it." And I was in that stupid camp too. Uh, but I'm a believer in the ultrasonic fingerprint reader now. I, didn't tell you. I wish I wish my S23 Ultra worked that well. Well, the S24 does, but you chose to skip it. Yeah, because I'll be getting the S25. Yeah, but you're normally a year of a phone, a phone a year. Yeah, you, you, but you, I you, just you dropped out of the park, man. You have no right to yeah. be in this discussion anymore. <laughs> you're 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 a you're a lightweight now. You used to be uh -huh. a phone a year guy, and I, see, look at that. I'm going to get right in there and. <laughs> Yeah, but no. It, it, listen, I, I, I'll, I'll be honest. With you. I, most of the reviews, and I say most because there's always going to be somebody's got something negative to say about everything. Most of the reviews for this phone, the the XL, the the regular Pro, the nine, which pretty much uh, people had nine Pro, nobody has except for reviewers right now, uh, in most places because they it's still shipping in September. But uh, and even the Fold, everyone's just clamoring on about great it is. Um. For those who have heard some negative stories, they're very few and far between. Also, usually from people who haven't tried the phone. Um, the battery life on this is teetering between, like depending on who you've watched on YouTube or where you've read it and what article, it's somewhere between almost as good as Samsung, 
not quite as good as Apple to somewhat good as good as Apple, not quite as good as Samsung to better than Samsung, but not as good as Apple, better than Apple, not as good as Samsung or better than both. Uh, <laughs> basically, how you use the phones is obviously going to depend on stuff. 100%. But the bottom line is an iPhone 15 Pro Max, a Galaxy S24 Ultra and a Pixel 9 Pro XL. All of them have pretty similar you know, uh, battery in how long they'll last. This is a huge leap from what Google's doing for. This phone is, doesn't get hot. Uh, 4K video in 30 degree heat, it did not get hot. So uh, that's Celsius for you uh, non Canadians. Oh, I apologize. Celsius. I meant 92, sorry, <laughs> or 89, or something along that line. Well, I, I just want to make sure people hot. go 30 degrees. That's cold. No wonder it didn't overheat. No, it's Celsius. <laughs> Yeah, 30 degrees Celsius. Yes. Two, two degrees below freezing. <laughs> yeah. And it didn't get hot. I wonder why. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, thanks for pointing that out, actually. But, yeah, so uh, the cameras are improved. Again, you'll hear a lot of stuff about how, oh, well, the same hardware. It's not That's not exactly true. The lenses have been improved. Uh, the main camera is technically the same sensor, but the software that runs it is different. Uh, the lens is different. The ultra wide camera is completely different entirely. Sensor, lens, everything. Uh, the uh, telephoto is uh, better lens and better technology running it again. Um, but let me let me ask what everybody out there one watching one more, this one more is going to There's also there's also no color shift when you switch from lens to lens as there was on the pixel eight and seven and six, but go on, please. Nobody wants to know any of that. Everybody wants to know the <laughs> AI is the AI working as they say it works or is it? Garbage? Oh, Oh, that's, that's I got, I forgot to put that in the computer so I could show it to you. I should send it to the computer really quick with my glasses. Um, it does and doesn't. Uh, it's in its infancy. There are times where it just says, eh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It doesn't well, do it like that, obviously. But <laughs> what I want to know is whether it works or doesn't work, does it improve your experience and or your life on a day-to-day basis? It does for me. Um I just did a bit because I got a new a new channel, uh, Lionel McClintock edits. We'll put that <laughs> in the description. <clears throat> uh, I will be actually doing some, you know, how tos and tutorials for people who are beginners and just want to learn how to do videos and editing uh, from mobile phones on their phone. He, he's really good at photography, so he that's going to be a good channel. I appreciate the ass. I mean, uh, the, the 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 compliment. <laughs> Mike, I'll give you my Venmo when I'm done. <laughs> I wait, it's Canada. We don't do Venmo. I think oh, right. I'll give you my strike when it's over. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, uh, I forgot what the heck we were saying. Now you- <laughs> well, I was talking about the uh, you know, the AI stuff, and then you, you know, I talked about I asked you if it actually benefited you know, your daily life, and you said it does. Ah, uh, right, right. Um, uh, yes. Um, so when I was doing the video and I had to do some editing and I, at first it was like, okay, this is my first video on the channel. So I think, what am I going to do for the description? What am I going to do for this? So I told, I told Gemini what I wanted to do. Um, waiting for a pen. Oh God. <laughs> sorry. I got distracted. I, I, I'm trying to send a video, uh, sorry, a video of an example of what I, what it's capable of doing. And for some reason, it needs a pin to send it to my computer, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Uh, in any case, so I asked Gemini, you know, uh, I told it what I wanted to do and and it explained, uh, you know, all the points. And I, I refined it and said, no, I was thinking about this and that. I wanted to do it like this, not like that. And it understood everything with, without without issue. And I'm getting an echo. I'm hearing myself. Uh, anything else going to happen today? <laughs> There's no echo on art on this end. So, but um, when you say it understood everything, what 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 do you mean? Like, what did you ask it? Like, so, what did you tell it to do? 
Well, I, I, I basically, you know, that's why it's not working. Uh, sorry. I basically told it that I, w I wanted to, um, to, to get a proper description of, of uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, and I explained what I was going to be doing and what I wanted the channel to be for. Uh, okay. And and, uh, and it basically just um, gave me gotcha. some point forms, and then I, I clarified. No, I want. I would like you to write it out for me. And then I made one correction when it said something. I said I don't want that word mentioned because that's insinuating that I'm more than I'm not. I want to make sure that uh, beginner photographers and videographers that want to learn how to do some editing and stuff like that uh, understand that they're learning from someone who's you know maybe more than a novice but definitely not a professional uh, uh so i'm not i'm not giving false vibes out is basically what i'm saying i don't want to give out false vibes so you, you, you get what i mean right yeah no i mean that's good i mean it's, that's that ex answered my question so yeah all right so yeah we're good yeah i mean i use gemini um all the time in when i do videos on my other channels um right i make it basically so i take the srt file i turn it into a writer text file because you can't upload an srt file because it doesn't know how to read it so i take the <laughs> text file and i tell gemini I want title description. I want 25 keywords and I want five key video timestamps. And I, and I'll say out of the uploaded file and I'll upload the file and I'll say one moment. And it basically reads the document and then bam, it pops it out. And it's literally a copy paste into YouTube. So easy, so fast. And it's, right. it's very, they, it does a very good job at that. Okay, I, I've got together uh, a little a video here. If I, I gotta get right back to this page here. Um, where is it? Oh, the share button. Oh, I could have just shared the video straight up. I don't have to share it like that. That would be easier, wouldn't it? How the heck would I just share the screen? <laughs> I already moved it. Uh, I believe that's it. Uh, okay, I, I've done this wrong before. <coughs> Excuse me. So after I hit the share, I have to go back to the other screen to actually press play, right? <laughs> no, you have to add it to the stream. Even though you share it, it just, it puts it in the in the queue. Oh, it doesn't... I see. Uh, and for some reason, I can't. Oh, I have to scroll. Uh, okay. So show on stream. There you go. Oh, I still have to press play. <laughs> so that's where I have to go this. back to it. Yes. Uh, if I can, there we go. All right, here we go. Say hi to my friend, chat. Hi, chat. Hey, it's actually chat, but I'm here to help. What's up? Well, it's nice to officially meet you, chat. I'm Gemini, a large language model. How can I help you today? Nice to meet you, Gemini. I'm here to chat. Is there anything interesting you've been working on lately? Thanks, Chad. It's nice to meet you, too. Lately, I've been working on getting better at understanding context and responding in a more natural way. It's a work in progress, but I'm getting there. How about you? Is there anything cool you've been up to? That sounds like a great project. Lately, I've been focused on helping users with a wide range of topics and making interactions as smooth as possible. It's always interesting to see the different questions and ideas people bring. Do you have any specific goals or challenges you're facing in your work? And we have an issue. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, I, I was waiting for. I was waiting for. I was waiting for him to say, "Can I get your number one more?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's so Gemini is actually uh, that happens. It, it it does happen with Chat GPT, but on a, to a lesser extent and not as often. Um, but with with Gemini, it will happen from time to time where for some reason it didn't hear something, so it doesn't know that it's supposed to respond. Now the interesting thing is when it happens with uh, Gemini, or sorry, with Chat GPT. You end up having to press another button and it doesn't seem to know what's going on. You end up having to exit and go back in and then it's forgotten everything. With Gemini, you can just say, hey, man, are you there? 
and it will say, oh, yes, I am. And it will say, listen, I was just saying something. Did you not hear it? Oh, I must have not heard that last sentence, but it makes sense now. So according to what everything else you said, blah, 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 that means what you're actually looking to do. And then, so it does, it doesn't, it, it has chat GPT beat in mm -hmm. that respect. Well, so the last, can, a, yeah. A couple of times when I was playing with Gemini and it locked up like that, I got a message on my phone that said, um, the, the mic could not be found or the mic's not on or something like that. Please turn the mic oh, on yeah, and try yeah, to get it. Yeah, and, I've had I had that to, too. and I had to actually stop it and restart it. Yeah, I had that too, but start. only on 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 my previous ones, like the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 7. Um, it, that has not been an issue with the 9. It's just more integrated right into the into the Probably because the... Um, that NPU they, yeah. they have in there is 100%, obviously 100 much more what, powerful. What is, yeah, even when it has to try to get anything off the internet to get information, it still pulls that stuff into it and then processes it there. So if there's and, issues, yeah. it, it tries to solve it that way. And I'm sorry, um, <laughs> for non-technical, that's neural processing units. Sorry. I I thought it was never pretend you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Sorry. Uh, all right. So, well, you know what? I really need to get an updated version of it. Or do I have the. Oh, no, I do. I'm just seeing the other side yeah. of them. <laughs> That's right. I only see one side of it. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> shoot, I'm sorry. Look at that. I'm having a cough attack all of a sudden. This is not good. Um, all right. So, <laughs> moving on. Um, there's a few other things that have gone on um, besides the. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm just curious. Did you get, you said you, I think you said you watched some of the Olympics. Um, I didn't watch any, by the way. Uh, yeah. I, but I, what, I, I, what I did was I did, I watched a lot of news, negative news about various different things all over the place. It's almost like they just did a terrible job all over the place. <laughs> Sorry. In some cases, during about officiating, uh, planning, or uh, organization, there's just so many negative things that came out of Paris. It people are going to look back at it and remember it as one of the worst Olympics ever. I didn't see that much negative commentary, but <laughs> not that it wasn't there. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I but I've had I've had people that I've seen that are interviewed. They're like, yeah, it was fantastic. Had a great time. The you know the Olympic Village was great. Um, yeah, I I just think that logistically that's got to be an absolute nightmare to coordinate not that it, that's an excuse well, for doing course. a bad job but um i think sometimes people's expectations of how those things are supposed to go is a little different than what reality is no i, I know listen so, but but yeah. here's the thing if you can if you compare it to something like the last time they were held in los angeles uh when they were held in vancouver or Calgary, the last time they were held in Atlanta. Well, we'll forget not about Atlanta. the bomb. We'll forget about the bombing. The, the event yeah, is, no, not Atlanta. The, the, event, the event itself was was fantastic. Uh, save, yeah. save for the terrorist act. But other than that, <coughs> what is happening? Anyways, um, you know, the, uh, and there's, there's you know, others, right? Um, what is it? Korea, uh, Seoul, 1988, one of the best uh, Olympics ever held. Uh, yeah. Fantastic! Uh, I believe Aus was it Australia? They had one, right? <laughs> a few years back. I don't know. I don't, uh, did London did a great job, right? So, um, but for some reason, the stuff that's coming out of Paris is just like, oh, it's not like a bunch of whiny Karens going. I didn't like my bed. It wasn't comfortable. This is this is a terrible. It's not like that. Okay. There are actually uh, wait, uh, ridiculous just, bad things happening that should stop, be stop for a minute. We have to. I have to apologize to anybody named Karen out there. He he didn't mean that as a derogatory comment to all Karens. He's referring to people who get angry for no reason. Now wait a minute. Hang on a second. Everybody knows what a Karen is. You don't have to explain. Yeah, you're assuming unless that. you're explaining. You're it assuming to Karen. that. No, you're assuming. So that. I've learned not know, to assume I'd, those things. Listen, uh, we obviously know when I say Karen, I could be talking about Karens and Kens. Okay, so, anywho. <laughs> that would be Barbie oh, and Ken. Ken and Barbie. Man. 
no, no. Anyways, uh, no, I, I, it's, it, I've heard some, you know, bad things, but I've also heard some good things. So, I mean, I, I think again, it, it, it depends probably on like maybe what your, um, sport was, you know. Um, I know a I lot of the water know. stuff. Like, it, they they didn't do a very good job of cleaning the river. That was you know. They, well, they, that's one of the negative and, you things know. you see. That that's disgusting. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay, they had a long time to fix that. They should have fixed it. So yeah, no. Let's, I, let's, I, let me let me let me let me hang in a second. Here's where Gemini is going to come in handy. List of negative things from the Olympics in Paris. Let's see what it has to say. I feel like this is going to be the live demo that Google. Oh, the did, first one is the Seine River concerns. One point five billion dollar cleanup effort. No, no, no. I don't need you to be audible there. Uh, security threats. Yeah, that happens at every Olympics. So that's 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 not fair. Disruptions for residents. Strike actions. Worker protests. Security measures. Again, that's not the Olympics' fault. That's going to happen everywhere nowadays. Uh, you have the Olympics, and there's going to be people going to protest it. So I'm not talking about that. Uh, what's this hijab ban controversy? Again, that has nothing to do with the French, does it? Oh, no, it's the French that banned it. Uh, hijab ban controversy. The French ban on hijabs for athletes has sparked a debate about inclusivity and freedom of expression. I'm oh, sorry. Wow. I think I hijabs are, are dumb, but uh, at the same time, I respect anybody's right to wear it. If that's your religion, that's your belief, then you have every right to wear it. And if you're an athlete yeah. who wears it, you should be able to. In Canada... There are police officers who are Sikhs that wear turbans with a badge or, you know, on the turban. Um, you're not going to see that anywhere in, in the U.S. as far as I know. Um, not that I've ever seen. <laughs> but that's been a thing for about 20 years in Canada because you have a large Sikh population. And they complained and they said, I want to be a police officer. Why can't I keep my, you know, it's still a hat. Th this... You know? um. Is, is this like an indigenous people that you're talking about that like have a the, from a particular part of Canada? I've never heard that Sikhs? name before. Oh, yeah. Sikhs are Sikh. Sikh, Sikh is a, is a, a uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's a, it's a religious more than anything. Is it's more of a religious difference of, oh, okay. of Indian people. Uh, oh, and okay. that's, okay, that okay. is, yeah. So that's, that's their religion. And, and they wear, the, they're the ones who wear the turban. So when you see those old, kind of not intentionally but nonetheless racist old movies and all of the indians are wearing turbans they're actually sikhs they're not they're not they're not uh oh, okay, okay. You know, they're from the punjab and stuff like that um <coughs> excuse me sorry um that was one thing safety issues concerns uh i don't know why they're talking about covid19 outbreaks that's gonna if, if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen where there's more people so that's right, not right, France's yeah. fault. Uh, corruption and smear campaigns. <laughs> Raids on organizing headquarters and allegations of smear campaigns have cast a shadow over the event. Uh, crime and gentrification, increased crime rates, and the displacement of local residents have sparked social concerns. In other words, they basically... Um, what did they call that in North America again when they basically tell you we're taking your house too bad? Here's Here's, here's a fraction of what it costs guess it there's um, a term for it i don't know uh, something something about appropriation or something i no, I, I have no idea it. but uh <clears throat> that's basically what they did they, they just basically told me like, we're, we're you know you get out we need your land um and that's disgusting um yeah all to, to, to hold the olympics uh doping and sex testing uh and in accusing women of yeah. being men because uh, yeah, that, by I the way the olympic the ioc is the only organizing body in the world that will automatically assume that you cannot possibly be fully a woman if you have even the slightest bit of an extra chromosome that suggests there could be some man somewhere in there uh <laughs> we're human beings and it's entirely possible for a woman to be slightly butchier but she's still a woman if she was born a woman she's a woman uh, she could look like a man and be stronger than a man, and she should be able to 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 run in a woman's sport if she's a woman. I don't care if she. Oh, they got an advantage. So what? <laughs> you know what? Nobody could beat what was his name? The guy with the long legs that nobody ever beat for like twenty years. Uh, Usain Bolt. 
Oh. <laughs> he, he, yeah. he, there's nothing to do with him, you know, having some gender identity thing or anything like that. He, he's just faster than every other man. Yeah. But he, he nobody ever said, oh, it's not fair because he's too fast. I can't run in this race. Shut up. Just run the race anyways. You know, and try to come in second, whatever it is. You know, <laughs> maybe right. one day you'll get lucky. Uh, right. So it's the same thing. The woman happens to be a bit butchy <laughs> and she's got a, an extra Y or X or whatever it is, chromosome. And, 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 and they're like, no, no, you're, you're, we're stripping you of any medals or we're not allowing you to, to continue on because you might possibly have been a man one day. Uh, you have no right to actually ask that question. I am yeah, it, it, that's been a quite a controversy, and I, yeah, it's that I think yeah. is only going to get worse. That's not as, a Paris thing, though. Just to be clear, I'm not no, blaming Paris. That's the IOC. Yeah. Um, but it, again, this is something I'd like to see somebody eventually who's hosting actually as a community step up and say we're putting pressure on you. Uh, we're not we're not going to let you treat people like this if you're going to be in our community. Uh, you need to be conclusive or get out. Being inclusive doesn't mean you can throw people out, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? Right. Uh, and that's how the IOC is. If you don't look the part, you're not allowed to play the game. And it's disgusting. And honestly, I can't be very supportive of the Olympics. And, and it's did that. I, I've wondered for years why some people say I don't support the Olympics anymore. And I understand it now uh, more than ever. Uh, it's a blight on the system. It throws people out of work. It gives some people work for now, but it throws a lot of people out of work. And in the long run, even more, it takes away opportunities for people to have proper housing. And so, oh, we're going we're gonna to have all this housing for the athletes. It's going to be housing for people later. It's, it usually become condos that no one else can afford. And even in the few places where they do make at least some of them affordable housing, very few people get to have that affordable housing. The rest of it gets torn down and made into condos. Ask anybody anywhere. One of the yeah, few well, cities that didn't do that is Montreal. And you can go visit their, their, their some of it. Um, but they are actually, at this point, expensive condos. Yeah, what, what I also don't understand, too, is a lot of these buildings they erect, PC become... Um... <laughs> become just abandoned pieces of you know brick and mortar now <laughs> yes. so yeah. yeah it's it's basically it's basically uh it in a lot of cases uh there was a time where certain games could could produce them like montreal would have had a great legacy in all honesty if they had decided to build a stadium that was sustainable and wouldn't have taken 40 years to pay off it got <laughs> paid off in like 2002 13 or something like that i can't remember what year and, and by this point they weren't like even using it anymore <laughs> you yeah. know uh, exactly. and the roof had collapsed and torn like 15 times and now they're saying well they just got to tear it down entirely well yeah no kidding it was built in 1975 yeah. or four or whatever right for the 76 olympics um and it's huge i've been in it i've seen a baseball game in there mm. and unfortunately it was in the 10th last row behind the plate i'll say that but if i'd had a pair of binoculars i wouldn't have been able to see the back catcher so why did they not continue to use it for baseball <laughs> did you hear what i just said i did hear that but it doesn't mean they can't continue I, to use it for something they, because nobody could see anything you couldn't mm -hmm. see anything happening if you weren't the first ten percent of the people at the bottom. Plus, they had fifth. Well, what's a, a, They had games where there were forty thousand fans, and it wasn't even half full. Well, maybe slightly more than half full. Sorry, I didn't fit that. How many. big is it? It was so big that they cut off one third of it, and you still had room for the entire baseball stadium. And they put up a new wall section behind. I mean, yeah, how many yeah, seats? Wall. I mean, like, was it 100,000 seats, 150,000? No, no, it yeah. wasn't 100,000 seats. It was just the way it was built. It oh. was built very flat out instead of steep and oh. way too much leg room. So it was about 90, no, not even, I think 85,000 or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. And it could be expanded to more, but they basically, they cut off something like 30,000 seats and they were still able to put 
50,000 people in that place without being able to go all the way around. And it was, it's, it's like, no, yeah. it's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Like there is absolutely <laughs> zero sports in the United States that would have wanted to use that, not even for baseball. It was too big. When they, before they cut off that part of the stadium, when somebody hit a home run over the wall, um, the who was going to go get it? It was like 150 <laughs> yards that you had to go between the back end of the wall and into where the next bleacher started. It, it was it was too much. It was it was massive. Yeah, uh, Mass- that's one thing I wish they would just figure out a way of you know, in especially in today's time with you know you want to try to conserve or you know create long term resolutions to you know housing and all this other stuff they would figure out a way of you know if they're going to spend all this money it's already government spent money or well actually it's our money your money right (laughs) um but figure out a way to reuse it for like the good of the people right it's the people that pay for it so but they don't it just goes to ruin half the time you know yeah exactly but you know, I, I'm not enough of the negative garbage. Yeah, <laughs> let's talk about yeah. some more positive stuff. Uh, how many people out there are Call of Duty fans, and who's waiting for Black Ops? <laughs> I am, but I doesn't look like I'm going to be pre-ordering. I've got some things that I got to take care of. Um, but you know what? I'm not that upset about it because really it's 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 uh i'm not upset about it (laughs) Uh, i can live without it it's not a big deal and who knows maybe i'll get the chance to do a pre-order before i mean i won't get the chance to do the beta if i miss it beyond that but the pre-order could still get me some bonus stuff if i can get it before before they stop doing the pre-orders so yeah i don't know how long (laughs) the beta is gonna last i don't remember the beta is only a few days for the early access and for the beta. Excuse me. And they're about huh. five days apart, I think. The yeah, because yeah, uh, the Thursday, the excuse me, in two days, which I guess is Saturday, yeah, is the um, early release. And then I think it's September right, right. 5th is, yeah, I think it's the 5th. Is that right? September 5th. Yeah, is the uh, actual beta release? So. Oh, right. Yeah, no, that's right. Yes, fifth, fifth and ninth. I think I want to say, or is it seventh? I don't know when it's it either is. either seventh or ninth. It's something along that line. Um, but nonetheless, there are some really cool new things about uh, Black Ops, uh, including the mechanics, um, being able to dive from what they say in any direction, mm-hmm. uh, and shoot at the same time. I so watched some it's gameplay. Not just diving forward and getting a lucky shot or diving. They can literally, you can jump off something, dive this way and shoot like that, or dive yeah, this way, like, and flip over and shoot like that. Um, yeah, I've seen where they they <laughs> dive and the the player will turn the character. So, like, if I dive this way and then I'm literally on my back shooting like this, skating on my back. I mean, so they they turn them and flip them in midair. It's yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm anxious to try some. Of I'm not, not I'm anxious good, too. But. I mean, kind of. That's the one reason why I wish I could do the early access, but I would, but it's not going to happen. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, I'm pretty sure you'll post some stuff on your channel and then and then and then send me the link and force me to watch it with a good gun. Point. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll um, be streaming it. I'll be streaming it, so you you can watch my stream live. Watch how bad I am. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but I don't care. You know, I don't care that I'm bad. So well, you know. you'll be better than me because you will have had a chance to play for like six or seven days by the time I get a chance to play, and you'll be <laughs> old, old hat at it. Yeah, you I know, told Blake too better. the other day. I guess we were speaking yesterday. Uh, he called me last night, and we were talking about the trip and going over a few things. And um, I said we were talking about the track. I said I said it's not going to matter anyways. I said because I'm going to kick your ass. He's like, yeah. he laughs. He goes, yeah, you've been practicing. Yeah, you got that track memorized by now. I said, pretty close. <laughs> he doesn't have Gran Turismo. So <laughs> I'm tearing it <laughs> yeah. up, you know. So well, it, keep, it definitely keep in mind like your perspective on the track uh, on the video game isn't going to feel anywhere near the same as your perspective on the actual track. No, and I don't want it to. Yeah. My, my whole reason <laughs> for the game is 
to have muscle memory for turns and like what I know you're basically going to do. Some, you know, yeah, it's basically thing. just like Senka. I never not the that. coffee. I'm talking about from from the Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> in the scene, they're in the bathtub, and he's you know going over the video, and he's leaning into the turns, right? So he gets right. to know it. So when they actually go to the track, he memorizes when to lean and when not to lean. When right. to go I forgot all about that movie. Down. Um, and that's basically the kind of thing that you're doing when you're playing. Yeah. you're you're yes. getting into a muscle memory of when is this turn going to come up. How it feels when you're driving a real car is going to be different, but you'll get used to oh, it in like yeah. one lap. Right. So, yeah. And we each get three laps. So we'll be. That's it. It's only three. I wouldn't pay for three laps. Give me well, it's six in total. We're, we're each give me, driving. Give me three. 50 laps. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm kidding. Do you know, how, does anybody, I wonder if anybody out there knows how long that track actually is. It's um, uh 12.4 miles. Yeah, that's not something you want to do 50 laps of unless you're a professional racer. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's, that's yeah. because it's intense driving. A lot of people think, oh, well, you just be driving. You just got to make sure you're a little careful and you're gonna be, you know when to brake and when not to brake. There's more to it yeah, than that. Yeah, There's a lot of muscle involved mm -hmm. because yeah. you're, 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 you basically have to be prepared to do everything on the track. And yeah, I've taken a car on the track and it was tight cornered, much slower track. <laughs> As it's in Canada, it's not, a beautiful track in Germany that's, you know, 12 miles yeah. long or something. But uh, it, nonetheless, tighter corners pretty much means the same type of experience at a slower speed. But it's like having a, a smaller roller coaster with tighter turns versus a big coaster with wider turns. Um, and on if, the, if, uh, you know, the long straightaway they have that you can reach, you know, in a race car, you're going to 200 miles an hour easy. Uh, well, the car you're doing, you, you're probably going to be able to do about 175 if, easy. Well, no, because during the tourist drive, which is what we'll be driving in, they yeah. pull you off the track in the middle there, and you have to go back onto the track because they slow you down. Because at oh. the end of that, if you don't break right, you're going to crash and you're probably going to die because there's a brick wall. Uh, not a brick wall, but there's a barrier. A uh, barrier. So in safety reasons, you're not allowed to do the, do the back yeah, stretch. Yeah, they're, they're not going to let a, some... You a know, certified racer with a certified car. Joe Blow come in there and go, oh, I'm going to go really fast and go 200 miles an hour and kill. So one lap yeah. is, is basically around and off, back on, around and off, back on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's disappointing because, um, yeah, I, I'm okay with it. Cause I mean, you literally I, just go right I, back I, on. I, can't, you know? I get why they do it. Still be a, little a, lot fast. Of, a lot of people are going to go there and they're going to think I'm the greatest driver ever. I can handle this. <laughs> and they don't know what the hell they're talking yeah. about. And they end up pancaked into a brick wall. Um, I learned to drive on a track with a guy sitting beside me telling me how to do it, um, which is the only way you should if you've never done it. Now, you're doing a different type of experience, so it kind of, I can understand why you wouldn't want that experience in that. I wouldn't want it either. I was on a short track with tight turns. So you make one mistake, it's over for anybody anywhere near you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, uh, on the track you're on, you, you have more of an opportunity to to get a feel for what you're doing. Because you can be way more wide open in the car you're driving on on, on many of the turns. Yeah. Like wide open on some of those turns. Uh, there's only one turn on the track I was on where I could be wide open in the car I had. But half the cars that were there could not go wide open on that turn. So. Yeah. Just to put that into perspective, huge difference. <laughs> uh, yeah. I did, however, accidentally um, drift around one of the corners, and the instructor <laughs> was like, "That's not a good way to do that." <laughs> accidentally, so I, of course, it was accidental. It's a front wheel <laughs> drive. It was a Kia Rio. It was accidental. You, you, you can drift a front wheel drive. What are you talking about? It's a Kia Rio. <laughs> you go fast enough, you can drift anything. Uh, yeah true and and it was a modified reel i'll give you that but um having said that <laughs> uh, yeah it was modified and it was pretty quick i actually i actually passed a lot of people with driving faster cars because they were afraid to take some of the corners that i wasn't afraid to take i had yeah. phenomenal wheels uh the guy uh panicked uh on the second run that i went like we got several laps each run and and the second run it was a different guy in the car 
and it started raining right when we started and he started panicking. So you gotta slow down he says no you don't understand my wheels are not meant for dry weather they're meant for wet and i floored it that thing never spun a tire pools of water didn't hydroplane nothing everyone was slowing down to a crawl and i was just flying past them we yeah. got to the end and he says i can't believe you did that and i said why i said i had tires that were meant to drive on wet weather what? what's the problem <laughs> Yeah, well, That's I'm hoping it's dry weather because um, I don't want to have to take any unnecessary risk. But the car yeah, I have like, rented is a, the uh, it's a Golf GTI Advanced. And I'm sure it's something that's Germany <laughs> only kind of things. I've never heard of Advanced, but it's got certain, yeah. you know, Nurburg type spec, you know, for, you know, it's got like, um, they're not like racing slicks like they're slick, but they're a not a full treaded tire. So it's they a get straight slick. Heat, yeah, they heat it up and you can get some good yeah. grip. They got, you like, know, like a, racing yeah, like Brembo slip. brakes and, you know, yeah, yeah, it's built. It's built for so that. It, it's probably something that's not necessarily meant for wet weather, but can handle some light sprinkle on a mild, wet road. Because it's yeah, if it's going to rain, you, they have to be prepared to not let you die out there, right? Well, I'm sure if it's going <laughs> to rain, they're probably going to put different tires on it. Because I don't think the tires yeah, that could, would be on yeah, dry it, is going to be. start soon. raining in the middle of it. It's a 12-mile track. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. They, it could literally start raining in the middle of it. It rained in the middle of my race on a small yeah. track. <laughs> so, yeah, it's I, I just hope it's a nice sunny uh, evening, and you know, yeah. we get to just. I would just, I would just love it if you, if you could find, uh, uh, what do you call it, a, um, uh, a cheap SIM card that would give you unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> it's well, I don't need a cheap SIM card. I I mean, I have unlimited data that, well, yeah, I mean, I have plenty of data because I have a, a plan on my Verizon that'll yeah, work just fine. In but Germany? It's whether you have good, yeah, uh-huh. just like in Barbados. I paid 10 bucks a day. I had whatever data and phone I wanted. I, I can't imagine that they wouldn't have good da- data there. I mean, first of all, there's a town every 13 feet in Germany. You, If you get uh, lost in the woods in Germany, turn around and you found a city. It, yeah. it's not like you see that's the thing you americans i'm just kidding <laughs> no I, come on. it's, it's even worse in canada we have like nothing here there's like a city and billions of miles to the next city but uh we 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 just forget in north america sometimes uh that when they say they're out in the wilderness and they're lost that it's not the same as here you can get lost in the Appalachians, for instance, and nobody could find you for months. Even if you or no one could find alive. you, period. <laughs> well, that's possible too, right? Yeah. Um, but if you get lost uh, in, I'm not talking about in the Alps, obviously, but in the center of Germany somewhere, uh, it's not likely that you're completely lost. You could you could pretty much walk in one direction, stay in that direction, and within 12 hours, you're probably going to hit something. Yeah. It's it's just a lot of towns. Remember, it's you know thousands and thousands of years they've been building cities and towns there. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, we'll just have to see. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll just have to see. It <laughs> would be cool to be able to live stream it, you know. But you know, I would love it. That. I would. I would love it because if I if I'm if I'm going to keep telling you that I'm not jealous at all, at least I can actually watch it while it happens. I know it'll be like one in the morning or. No, five in the morning. I don't know what the time difference. Is. I don't know. I don't know what the time difference is. I think it's about. I think it's about five hours, five or six hours. It's five or six hours. Yeah. So yeah. So all um, right. Well, and and we're so is it? I don't know if it's ahead or back because we don't go on the track until they don't open it up. Okay, so it's not an all day thing. They don't open it right. up until like four thirty or five o'clock. So you have like a two or three hour window. Yeah, they have like a two or three hour window, uh, late afternoon, early evening. When they open it up to the tourist oh. drives, except on the weekends, but they don't have any weekend slots open, and we're not, you know, obviously we have limited time, so. Um, oh, so I picked, it I picked would be five, four, three, two. It would be like eleven in the morning, noon. So, so there would be a head, I guess. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course they're ahead. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh. It's Germany, so where exactly is it in Germany? I don't even know. The I'm city not... of Nurburg. I'm sorry, the city of what? Nurburg, hence Nurburgring. Nurburg, huh? N-U-R-B-U-R-G. Look it up. 
Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. That was Nuremberg. <laughs> Nuremberg. Look it up. Isn't it Nuremberg? Look it up. Where is Nuremberg? Yeah, let's see. Here's the city's website. Now, are you sure you don't mean... Is there anything else I can help you? Oh, wait a minute. Let me see if I can get that. You sure you don't mean there? Positive. Okay, how did you spell it? Hold on. I'll show you. No, no. Just tell me. How did you spell it? It's N-U-R-B-U-R. Hence, Nurburgring. Interesting. Ah, you learn something new every day, then. Yeah, Nurburg uh, Nordsleif. Oh, that's why you're mispronouncing it. Okay, Nurburg. Oh, sorry, I'm not German. <laughs> sorry. I did spell it for you, and you still didn't believe me, but that's okay. Nürburgring. Nürburgring. Yeah, das ist richtig. <laughs> Anyways. Es tut mir leid, mein Deutsch ist nicht gut. Ich spreche nur ein bisschen. Ich verstehe sehr okay. ein bisschen. Okay. Okay. And All on right. that note, I will have some amazing footage from that. We leave September 20th. I'll be back on the 28th or 29th or something like that. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty amazing. Yeah, so we're going to we're going to actually um probably either have nothing that week or maybe if we can, we maybe we'll put together um something in advance. Uh just to put out there. Well, I'm actually, because it's going to be me and my son. Uh, we might even be able to actually do the podcast. It just kind of depends on timing. Be cool. You know what? That would be cool. So if we could I, do I, that, well, that would be even better, you know? Yeah. We'll long just have distance, to see. Not that long distance, but that would be doubly long distance, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll just have to see. Um, I can change see. my time. I mean, obviously. So uh, for what, what works. Um, so. On Wednesday the twenty fifth, which is when we'll be there. Um, oh, let's see, we're gonna be at the track that night. Yo, oh, you obviously can't do it when you're at the track because you. Well, no, we don't. We don't drive the track <laughs> until the next day. Oh. We're gonna. We should be arriving at Nurburgring at around four or five in the afternoon uh, and checking under a hotel, which is called Motorsport Hotel. It's literally right next to the track. It's a really cool car theme hotel. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so I'm guessing there's not only really good uh, uh, um, 5G signal there, but probably really good Wi-Fi in the hotel, too. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I mean, if we can do... Uh, um, actually communicate from that location, I guarantee it. Yeah, maybe, maybe we can do something from the track, you know? Not uh, on the track, cool. obviously, but like with it in the background or something. That'd be pretty cool. We'll have to see. It would be interesting. Of course, yeah. of course, if if you did a live stream through this instead of uh, the uh, some other some other way, I, I could sit here and go, "All right, he's going down. He's he's heading around turn one, and he's really got his foot on the pedal now." <laughs> well, fortunately, <laughs> Streamlabs I can do on the phone live stream. Well, that's what I'm saying. So then, oh, he's hit the brakes a little too hard. He looks like he's going to spin out. Oh, he's got a good recovery there. Let's get on with it then, shall we? Uh, I hope there's no, I think he's going to spin out commentary. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be doing that anyway. I was just trying to make fun of it. So. But, uh, yeah. of course, if I was trying to call soccer, I would have done it like this. I was starting to be football. Yeah, I ain't caught soccer over here. It's football. Yes, I have to make the faces too. Okay. <laughs> I think we should probably call it a night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it with that, uh, I'm I'm definitely, uh, yeah, not I'm going to actually, Robert's going to do it. Uh, first of all, i got to mention this. we got to always remember, first of all, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon here. Check out Robert's other channels. Uh, specifically, since you're here, probably you like tech news and stuff like that. I'm falling off my head. Uh, uh, Gadgets Guys Gadgets, he'll have his link there. 
And of course, check out my uh, my channel, which I've suddenly forgotten the name of. It. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the link in the in the yeah, description. We'll put the link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel McClintock edits. That's what I. That's what it is. Um, uh, as well as his gaming channel. So check it all out. Have have a lot of fun, and uh, and 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 we'll see you next week. I'm 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 Lionel McClintock. I'm in Toronto, Canada, and I'm Robert, just outside Nashville, and we'll see you next week. Ciao.